All right, so these are some of the beads that we got from some kids in Kampala, Uganda. Um, they make them, and one of our, one of the kids that we know the best, his name is Hamza, and he kind of heads up the whole little deal with sending us the beads over. And we've been selling them at our school store, but we're in the process of trying to take them um, to different stores in our community that would be willing to sell them for nonprofit, so that we can send it back to them and they can get. You know, just their basic necessities, and hopefully we can get them more bandwidth so that we can talk to them more often. And tell us a little bit about Hamza. What does he head up over there? Um, it is called. Oh goodness. Uh, oh, I don't know. But what what is it? Street Children. Street Project. Street Project. Okay, yes. He heads up um a project called Street Project where he goes out into um the slums of Kampala and he goes and talks to kids and just makes a relationship with them. He doesn't necessarily bring them anything, but just shows these kids that somebody does care about them and that somebody is there for them no matter what goes on. And They've had a couple kids from the street project that have ended up in the orphanage that Hamza is also at. But that's Tell us not. about the orphanage. The orphanage is filled with, the, I think, about 30 just ridiculous, rambunctious little kids that we love talking to all the time. Um, Uncle Paul, he's in his 20s, um, is the head of the organization, and he provides these kids with food and with shelter, um, with a place to sleep, and schooling as well, with as much as the kids as he can get to go. So, so you talk to a lot of them on TalkEd, on our chat, and you talk to, now, after a year, we're finally Skyping with them, which is wonderful. And what else do you do, the, the letters? We have letters. We have our little pen pals, and every year, every time that we send it, they'll send us back like a picture of something. They're really cute, and so yeah, we're trying to keep up with that, and we're trying to make something along the lines with their artwork so that we can incorporate them in our community, in our school, and kind of just get. Like with the e-cards or something and raise some money that way. And yeah. I think Austin was talking about making some posters to put up in the stores that you sell the beads. Very cool. Good job. Thank you.